SCP-2546, A Retroviral Nightmare. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2546-1 through-600 are stored in a standard BSL-3 facility within Site-234. All work with these samples is carried out in appropriate BSL-3 personal protective equipment and conditions. Personnel assigned to work with SCP-2546 samples should have a minimum of five years' experience working with retroviruses of both anomalous and non-anomalous nature. Requests for creation of additional aliquots are subject to Level 4 review. In the event of accidental exposure, affected individuals are to be placed on antiretrovirals and monitored for changes in cell surface receptors, genetic markers, bloodstream hormone levels, and behavioral patterns. Should affected individuals begin displaying any physical or mental alterations consistent with SCP-2546 infection, they are to be placed under Level 2 humanoid quarantine. Once an infected individual's viral load has fallen below infection thresholds, they are to receive minor plastic surgery and comprehensive Class C amnestic treatment. In the event of an outbreak, Mobile Task Force Chai-7 Plague Tamers are to be deployed, and Protocol Anthro Lenti 5 enacted. Due to the slow acting nature of SCP 2546, infections may not be detectable or become apparent until several weeks following exposure. Containment of infection following exposure is of the highest priority. Footnote 1 especially in SCP-2546 instances corresponding to existing Foundation personnel. Individuals exposed to SCP-2546 strains corresponding to high-ranking Foundation employees should be monitored closely by medical personnel. When these individuals fall below the infectious threshold, they are to be briefed on their current situation and offered facial reconstruction and employment in a post of their choosing. Protocol Anthro Lenti 5 Protocol Anthro Lenti 5 is composed of a series of quarantine steps designed to contain and destroy outbreaks of SCP-2546. This protocol is composed of the following measures. Identification and isolation of known infected individuals. Isolation of individuals known to have exchanged body fluids with infected individuals. Analysis of local water supplies and blood banks for presence of SCP-2546. Chlorine purge of contaminated water supply and destruction of contaminated blood packs. Minor reconstructive plastic surgery, broad-spectrum treatment with Class C amnestics, an introduction of viable background following viral clearance. Release and dissemination of false information regarding the disappearance of infected individuals. Reintegration of infected individuals into normal society. Foundation reconnaissance personnel identifying any individual consistent with the description of Person of Interest 2546A or to alert Mobile Task Force Chai-7 and Tau-9 bookworms. Attempts to capture and or neutralize person of interest 2546A are to observe utmost caution. Description SCP-2546 is the collective designation for 600 identified and an unknown number of unidentified anomalous retroviruses. All SCP-2546 instances are retroviruses of the genus Lentiverde and are structurally similar to other retroviruses within the group, especially HIV. All SCP-2546 have a capsid 720 nanometers in diameter, footnote 2, six times as large as HIVs, and are capable of binding to the surfaces of all cells within the human body regardless of cell surface profile. SCP-2546 primarily spreads in the wild through sexual or intimate contact 
and or accidental bloodstream exposure, making person-to-person -person spread primarily limited to sexual partners. Unlike other viruses, both anomalous and non-anomalous, SCP-2546's primary function is not only to propagate itself, but also to alter its host. SCP-2546's genome is thus quite large, and codes for an additional 34 proteins which perform its primary anomalous effect. SCP-2546's anomalous effect begins upon infection of a single cell within the host's body. Upon entry, the virus makes its way to the center of the cell, where it will begin shedding its protein shell. SCP-2546 will then proceed to dismantle the existing chromosomes, utilizing 34 proteins to unwind, destroy, and replace the host chromosome, utilizing the denatured particles as building blocks. It is unclear how exactly these proteins are able to synthesize and organize these new chromosomes without a template. However, thorough analysis has pinpointed several repeated sequences and or structures which are unique to each virus and may be related to this process. The average time between initial infection and chromosome replacement is estimated to be between 3 to 5 days. Footnote 3 This rate increases exponentially as more viral particles are introduced. Altered cells produce virus continuously for a period of three months, at the end of which they become impermeable to further infection with the same virus. SCP-2546 primarily spreads through the body via the immune system, where it takes advantage of the close proximity necessary for immune cells to fulfill their functions, and by proxy, prevents the host immune cells from negatively reacting with cells possessing replaced chromosomes. As a direct result of SCP-2546's chromosome replacement, infected individuals are subject to a long, painful, and severely distressing transformation wherein on the genetic, physical, and mental levels, they undergo complete transmogrification into the corresponding person. Footnote 4 it should be noted that transformed individuals are only able to recall their correspondence memories to a certain point. This point is believed to be the moment at which said individual's chromosomes were harvested. Research investigating possible similarities and mechanism with SCP-2009 is pending approval. This transformation's length varies based on the viral load that the individual was originally exposed to ranging anywhere from 1 to 10 years. Symptoms of infection vary from individual to individual, and may not be noticeable immediately due to the lengthy reproductive cycle of each virus. However, some of the more notable symptoms are detailed below. Alterations to skeletal structure, including loss or gain of height. Increase or decrease in muscle mass and fat content. Muscle aches and or fatigue, sharp and or chronic pain in the bones. Progression or reduction in aging. Footnote 5. May or may not be physically noticeable, dependent on the infected party's age and the corresponding virus. Physical disassociation and or loss of sense of self. Changes in skin pigmentation. Behavioral alterations, personality shifts and or changes in preferences. Slow loss of personal memories, and gradual gain of the corresponding person's memories. Footnote 6. X-ray crystal structure analysis of the virus's capsid has revealed a number of molecular structures resembling thaumaturgical symbols. Foundation thaumaturgy experts have identified 32 symbols, except in SCP-2546-1, where only two symbols are present, associated with memory and personality, which are currently believed to be the proximal mechanisms by which the virus induces memory and personality changes in its host. These symbols appear to have no biological function and are most likely engineered into the virus's structure. Changes to internal organs affecting their function. Hormone level fluctuations reproductive organ alterations, 
confusion, disorientation, inability to recognize themselves and or significant cognitive dissonance. In rare cases, death due to internal trauma. SCP-2546 was first discovered by Foundation personnel implanted amongst Redacted University Local Medical Center. Kyle Redacted, officially dubbed Patient Zero, came to the center seeking medical treatment for a variety of symptoms now known to be associated with SCP-2546. Security Clearance Level 4 Required Due to SCP-2546's anomalous properties, information regarding the origin of each virus's chromosomes are kept behind high-level security clearance. This is necessary to safeguard Site-234 personnel, in addition to preventing the creation of additional high-ranking Foundation personnel from which information might be extracted by antagonistic groups of interest. Following each outbreak, a high-ranking Foundation official has been the target of short, cryptic, and threatening messages centering around hatred of the Foundation and its operations or the loss of children. The majority of personnel who have received such messages were either direct correspondence with the outbreak or would later be connected to future outbreaks. A complete list of these personnel has been compiled and is available upon request. All attempts to identify the person of interest behind the SCP-2546 outbreaks have failed, as the individual displays explicit mastery of covering their electronic trail. The following table comprises a small portion of the 600 or so variants discovered and described by the Foundation at this time. To access the full list, please contact Site-234 Director Sherry or Leap Andrews. SCP-2546-1 Chromosome Origin Anna Redacted, 20-year-old student at Redacted University, prominent member of the sorority Delta Delta Delta. Patient Zero Kyle Redacted, 21-year-old student at Redacted University, prominent member of the fraternal organization Alpha Tau Omega. Kyle Redacted began displaying symptoms of SCP-2546 infection after an indeterminate period of exposure. Footnote 7 It should be noted that Mr. Redacted was unwilling to reveal the day upon which he engaged in initial intimate contact with Ms. Redacted. At time of containment, Mr. Redacted had lost 27.2 kilograms in weight and 22 centimeters in height. Footnote 8. Mr. Redacted was also noted to have begun development of breast tissue. Investigation into all recent contact with Mr. Redacted led to detection of high levels of virus in Ms. Redacted. It is now believed that all subsequent variants were engineered from Ms. Redacted, and as such, she is currently being held under indefinite quarantine within Site-234. Attached Message no message was found. SCP-2546-16 Chromosome Origin Kublai Khan Grandson of Genghis Khan and 5th Kagan of the Mongol Empire Patient Zero Redacted Initial outbreak resulted in a short border skirmish between the countries of Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan before Chai-7 was able to contain 153 infected individuals, 68 civilians, and an estimated 15 military personnel were killed during the fighting, including 23 children. The incident was covered up as a training exercise simulating a land war in Asia, and the number of casualties blamed on the mistaken use of live ammunition rather than blank rounds. Attached Message received by Dr. Sherry Andrews three days after the outbreak was contained. How much is normalcy worth? Will you sacrifice your children to survive? Will you watch them turn before your eyes? SCP-2546-74 Chromosome Origin 
current United States Senator Bernie Sanders. Patient Zero Rachel Gwynn, seven-year-old daughter of Foundation Level 2 researcher Laren Gwynn. Outbreak was limited to one individual, as Ms. Gwen expired three months after infection due to massive internal trauma. The outbreak is now believed to have been a failed attempt to neutralize Mr. Gwen based on his research into the use of physics to harness thaumaturgy. Attached Message Received via text message by all members of the O5 Council two days following containment of the outbreak. It is a shame she had to die. A little slip of my needle, and there she went. Did you watch as the light left her eyes? Of the five, multiples of three are available to me. SCP-2546-259 Chromosome Origin 053 Patient Zero Redacted Foundation plants within the Chaos Insurgency reported the capture and imprisonment of 053 at a known Chaos Insurgency stronghold. A joint assault between Mobile Task Force Alpha-1, Red Right Hand, Mobile Task Force New 7 Hammer Down, and Mobile Task Force Chai-7, Plague Tamers, was able to penetrate the facility and recover 053. Recovery of the infected individual became impossible when they revealed a small-scale nuclear device attached to their waist, informing the rescue force that it would be detonated upon removal and could be activated remotely. Attending medical operative, George Redacted, was able to draw three vials of blood from the individual before all three mobile task forces successfully evacuated. An estimated 1,300 Chaos Insurgency personnel were incinerated in the blast. Attached message Received by Site-91 senior staff Your leaders think themselves invincible, untouchable. Even they can't avoid thought itself. SCP-2546-343 Chromosome Origin Nurujua Site-91 Director, Head of Containment for SCP-2559. Patient Zero, Three Unknown Individuals, Identities Unknown or Not in Foundation Gene Banks. The outbreak was first discovered when three individuals appeared in the cities of New York, Tokyo, and Bizia. All three individuals were in the mid-stages of SCP-2546 infection, with disproportionately sized limbs and pigmented patches of skin. Following their appearance, SCP-2559 breached containment, resulting in 540 casualties. Mobile Task Force Chai-7, Beta-7, and Mobile Task Force Upsilon-4, Sugar Pill, were deployed to each location and successfully contained 2559. Dissemination teams accredited the deaths to a particularly virulent strain of influenza. Attached message. Received by Director Shirley Gillespie. You keep so many secrets, from them, yourself, and even your son. Do they really matter? SCP-2546-445 Chromosome Origin Dr. Ralph Rogett Patient Zero Fifteen Individuals, Identities Unknown Due to Complete Transformation SCP-2546-445 was discovered upon Dr. Rogett's return to his apartments in Site-77 following an extended stay at Site-19 on October 5, 2016. Upon entry to his apartment, Dr. Rogett reported feeling uneasy, at which point he began cautiously exploring the residence with weapon drawn. As Dr. Rogett moved through the apartment, he discovered a number of body parts which had been severed using surgical instruments including heads, limbs, and redacted, which belonged to individuals he recognized as physically identical to himself. Blood samples from these appendages revealed the presence of SCP-2546-445. Attached Message 
Attached message. Text message received by Dr. Rajet shortly after full exploration of his residence. They so wanted to come home. They fell to pieces when they learned they couldn't. SCP-2546-542 Chromosome Origin Dr. Leap Andrews Co-Director of Site-234 Patient Zero Sally Redacted Eight-year-old daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Redacted Close friends of Site-234 co-directors Sherry and Leap Andrews Foundation personnel became aware of SCP-2546-542's existence when the entire administration of Site-234 received an email, footnote 9, from what is now believed to have been a dummy account, containing a link to an anonymously hosted video sharing site. This link connected to a time-lapse video, 20 minutes and 15 seconds long, of Sally Redacted being inoculated by an SCP-2546 variant by a masked figure and subsequently transforming into Dr. Andrews. Footnote 10 Detailed analysis of each frame by Foundation video specialists has revealed several characteristics about the masked figure as described in the following section. This video is of particular note in that it would return to a normal time frame to display particularly graphic and or disturbing portions of the transformation, including the development of redacted and heightened vocalizations of pain. Unlike Miss Gwen, Miss Redacted is seen to endure the entire transformation without expiring. Miss Redacted's fate is currently unknown. A vial of blood containing SCP-2546-542 arrived on Dr. Andrew's desk the following day. Attached message. Attached to the email. As my daughters faded in my arms, the stars above danced in brilliant flames and lights, screaming to right that which was wronged. No more will Miss Sally remember them as her parents, but they will remember how you let her perish. SCP-2546-600 Chromosome Origin Site-234 Co-Director Sherry Andrews Patient Zero 34 individuals, all members of the University of Alabama's redacted fraternity, who were believed to have disappeared in a boating accident two years before. The outbreak was discovered when Dr. Sherry Andrews emerged from her home on the morning of December 6, 2016, wherein she became aware of all 19 deceased and 15 near-death infected individuals mounted on the Andrews' front lawn. Each individual had been nailed in the hands and ankles to an enlarged wooden version of the Foundation's emblem. All 34 were noted to be in various phases of infection with two instances having completely transformed before, one of whom was still alive at the time of appearance. Security footage from the outdoor cameras around the residence is notable, and that the emblem did not appear until exactly 30 seconds before Dr. Andrews opened the door. Attached message. Written in blood on the grass. Bleed for me. Update. November 8th, 2017. Due to the events surrounding the discovery of SCP-2546-542, Foundation analysts are now pursuing leads regarding a specific physical description. As of the current iteration of this document, Person of Interest 2546-A is believed to possess the following characteristics. Female, long blonde hair, Physical scarring on the hands and lower arms due to severe burns of an unknown nature and slim to medium build. Footnote 11 Cross-referencing with anomalies bearing similar properties to SCP-2546 and persons matching the description given here returned an incident involving an isolated outbreak of SCP-2009. The outbreak was noted to be unusual and that it occurred in an isolated portion of the Pacific Northwest, and that only two individuals were infected, two young children. 
Foundation personnel were alerted when a woman, matching the given description, attempted to call for an ambulance. All information regarding the entity of this individual has since been removed by unknown means. The individual is estimated to be anywhere from 18 to 40 years of age and is believed to possess a number of powerful thaumaturgical abilities, advanced knowledge of computing systems, and biomolecular engineering techniques far beyond even the most advanced foundation research facilities. Due to Person of Interest 2546A's engineering of SCP-2546, it is extremely likely that they have created further instances of themselves, and thus are not working alone. It is also highly likely that Person of Interest 2546A no longer retains her original form, as her engineering prowess would allow her to create viruses lacking the memory and personality-altering features of the variants discovered to date. Thus far, Person of Interest 2546A has presented no demands, and offered no reasoning as to their continued harassment of Foundation personnel. The individual is believed to use a retrovirus to achieve her intended aims. Footnote 12 Emulating the pain of watching loved ones lose their identities right in front of them. Based on the duration and pain associated with SCP-2546's effects. Footnote 13. How she chooses and accesses her targets is not known, though her perceived mental instability could indicate that there is no pattern to her choices. Only that she seeks to induce suffering in those she perceives as responsible for the loss of her children. Thank you for listening to SCP-2546, A Retroviral Nightmare, by Dr. Bleep. If you enjoyed this SCP, please like and subscribe, and follow the link in the description to the SCP Wiki, and vote up the article to support the author and the SCP Wiki as a whole.